backs up, starters ready. And they're off. They race away then for this Boyle Sports Grand Sefton. 17 fences in total. The first four come up pretty close together. The grey Al Dancer with the Golden Rebel is blinkered the first time and Jack Hackett amongst the leaders as they get over number one. Spirit of the Games off to the extreme right with the cheek pieces is just about the back marker. Number two coming up Percussion about five from the left is in a prominent position and the Golden Rebel is out of the race. Ten, the Golden Rebel out of the race, uh, Brian Carver up on his feet as uh, Golden Rebel gallops away and he's in fact just in front at the moment of one true king who is the leader of the remainders as they jump the chair, number three up and over that's a pretty short run down to the water now, Al Rock is just the back marker but one true king is a very flashy chestnut, chairs out in front of the grey Al Dancer, lifetime ambition, the red and white checks was over in Second place, a dark blue jacket for percussion is next, and these are followed by a Bea de Matin, a red jacket, distinguishing yellow cap. Broken Halo in black colours and two for gold in green and red are next. In green and black is Jack Hackett and then Jeskiel and the green and pink colours off to the left there against the running rail as they make their way way onto the far side of the course. The hoop jacket, senior citizen, third run in the race. He's in company with the best turned out winner, Jack Amar. That's the red jacket and yellow uh, cap and spirit of the games. Harry Skelton is hugging the inside but has uh, him right at the rear of the field as they jump over number five and getting over it now. All over it okay. That loose horse, uh, the Golden Rebel, well clear of them and galloping on is about to take uh, number six well ahead of the main field as one true king. The yellow cap is just about the leader there as they come down to the open ditch running away to the far side number seven here Al Dancer the grey is behind those and they're followed by two for gold up on the outside of percussion lifetime ambition the red and white checks is there off to the right is Abea de Matam the red jacket and yellow cap the same jacket Al Rock is on the extreme left towards the back of the field uh, broken halo right in behind the leading group of runners and these are then followed by Jack Hack and then comes uh, Jeskiel and Spirit of the Game, senior citizens, one of those a little wider on the course towards the rear of the field as they make their way then down towards uh, Beecher's Brook, which will be number 10. And it's the next fence they get to. It's a very narrow lead for one true king and Keelan Woods. Charlie Deutsch on the grey. Al Dancer is in second place. Two for gold up on the outside of those. Takes it in uh, fifth position. Just out jumped by percussion. And then the red and white checks of lifetime ambition. Uh, Bea de Matan on the inside as they jump the Foynaven fence. Jack Hackett was behind those. Broken Halo was a little slow. Uh, Giselle, just keel in the uh, green and pink, jumped it really stylishly. He's getting into contention. Jack Amar, senior citizen, spirit of the game behind him. Here's the canal turn, so now they begin the run back towards the home straight. Uh, getting over that, a Bayard and Matam, David Noonan had to sit really tight with him. I think Al Rock is just about to be pulled up as Al Dancer has been sent on now. Quickly goes on by a two to three length advantage. One true king with the white sleeves in second. Lifetime ambitions right in the center. The red and white check jacket as they jump this uh, next obstacle. Behind those is Jeskiel towards the right in green and pink. Percussion, dark blue colors right in the center. Two for golds on the extreme left. One from the left is Jackamar making progress. Behind this is Broken Halo. Pulling up now is Abea de Matin, 15, uh, before they took that. So they're heading now to only three fences from the finish. And this is where Lifetime Ambition in the red and white checks comes to jump through and almost take it up to El Dancer as they come back across the Melling Road. Uh, percussion running a big race there. The white armlets on dark blue. Two lengths behind those finds a yellow cap of Jackamar on the red jacket. On the left is two for gold. Uh, Jess Keel in green and pink colours is still making progress. One true king. Uh, white sleeve jacket just beginning to weaken a little bit at this stage. Broken halo and spirit of the games are either side of him as they make their way towards the home term. They're well ahead of Jack Hackett and senior citizen who are still going but way at the of the field. Well, Al Dancer has regained the advantage here, Charlie Deutsch, 
uh, to the red and white checks of Lifetime Ambition and Sean O'Keefe as they come to the second last obstacle. These are now clear from Jeskiel Henry Brook in the green and pink who's still making progress. Percussion Adam Wedge in the dark blue is next. Two for goal behind these. This is the final fence now. Al Dancer the grey is still fighting off the challenge of Lifetime Ambition. Jeskiel on the right there though is the biggest challenger I think in the closing stages. Percussion is behind those as they head down to the elbow. It's Al Dancer and Charlie Deutsch in front and now staying on strongly three lengths ahead. Jeskiel has moved into second. Lifetime Ambition behind those in third place. 150 yards to go. Jeskiel nearest to us is going to break down the challenge to Al Dancer. They race towards the line. Jeskiel nearest to us. The far side Al Dancer, the grey. Very tight between them. The judge will have to split those. 